Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can use Flutter testing to test our provider package. So this is our provider test.dart file. This has a setup and a group of tests, single group of tests, which has two tests. One which checks models individual values and second it checks the widget testing of the actual provider package. So we have a model location here and let's see what is this location model. This has city, country, country name, currency. Also we have used Flutter's build generator to generate the location.g file which is done by the command as mentioned in the article below. So let's see how we can run this test. So basically there are two ways of running a test. The first way is by running a terminal command flutter space test space folder name of which contains so your test say this is my test folder then what folder you are in say providers underscore test in my case and then the actual test name or there is a second easy way just click on the test and say start debugging so let's see the second way first so this you can see left hand side so now it says it passes what is it about location model which is our group name first test is check individual values which is our first test and second is our widget test which says provider update when the value changes first test say check individual values this is a location model which has some parameters enlisted as city country name etc so first test we do is we just check what's the city equals to so city here is London and London equals to London so it checks and correct second is it checks the runtime type if the country name is a string then it equals or matches that third country which it's not null then checks that fourth IP which says if it's empty which is in this case yes so it will pass which means in European Union the value should be true as it's a boolean so yes it passes then languages uh, it can't it should contain en which yes it does and similarly starts with for currency and matches for country so this was for about testing individual values of a model so this is a provider in this case it's a stream provider widget which has a provider key and a controller which we have initialized above here and we have already used setup so this is a method which is called before any group of tests is run so we have initialized our model for our second case as only location with only parameter as city firstly if the context is equals to the current context then second it checks because initially provider always comes with a null value so we have checked that also if that current context is null then it should pass provider fetches or is initialized with some value in our case we are adding a controller this controller is a stream controller initialized above and this controller we are adding manual value as location model with city parameter as London so then we wait for some time so the actual value is the model with city London and actual which we, we expect is the location model so now let's see if this value if I change what happens Thanks. so now this test fails because the value was xyx instead of London at location city so we can confirm that okay it also shows us the actual and expected value expected is this and the actual is this which definitely is not matching that's why it fails now let's revert back and check again okay so it passes parallelly we check for a failure test case for our first also which checks individual values so let's say that if I make this city here as XYZ say 
now let's run this test so this fails because expected is London and actual is XYZ line number which says line 40 which is this and if I say again revert back it should pass as usual as now London is equals to London okay so it passes so that's it from this video guys hope you learn some testing and the source code would be out in the link below if you like this video please comment subscribe to my channel and thank you